Hi, my name is Cressa, and I'm going to show you how to use the shower toga in emergency and disaster relief settings. So your shower toga is going to come in a reusable mesh bag. Inside the mesh bag will be your shower toga itself, instructions, and a bar of soap. This bar of soap is probably a five to 10 use bar of soap. So all you're going to do is step into your shower toga with the logo on the bottom. You can take your soap, put it in this little front pocket here so you do not have to keep the soap on the ground. For men, you simply put it around your waist, reach through the sides. You're going to remove your undergarments, these panels here <clears throat> that I'm putting my hands through, reach all the way through like so, so you can remove items underneath from the waist down. They also have a privacy panel so it doesn't gap open and there can be thousands of people around and you won't be exposing yourself and you can stay modest. Um, for females, you're going to take your shower toga, put it right up underneath your chest. Doesn't matter what you're wearing underneath your shirt. It can be a sports bra or a regular bra. You're going to treat the shower toga and the changing out of your clothing the same way. You reach up underneath your chest and you pull it right up over and you remove your sports bra or your bra. There is a two toggle system on your shower toga. One toggle tightens for women at the breastbone. Remember for guys, you'll be one toggle tightened down here. For women, you may also take this additional toggle and put it behind your neck, just for added security. At this point, you are undressed. You can now rinse off with any water source. It can be a hose if there is running water. It can be bottles of water. It can be a, you know, a, a, a fire truck hose. Um, as you know, there's some different sources of water um, during natural disasters. Um, another option is another product that we have called the Shower To Go. The Shower To Go will require that you collect two liter recycled water bottles, actually one or two liter recycled water bottles, or that those can be found potentially in abundance depending on the circumstance. The Shower To Go's also do fit on um, lots of different camping shower bags and platypus bags. This is the two options. This is the one I'll show you. The shower to go screws on on top of the water bottle. This is filled with water and you can use this to give yourself a steady stream of water. Go through here and wash off underneath your shower toga. As you can see, it's very private. You can take your soap, wash your body completely. Make sure you clean off any abrasion areas, any cuts, um, and then of course, rinse your body off. When you are done, you can either pass this on to the next person if you have a group of people. Um, another option is that you can take your shower to go and you turn it this way. It seals off the water and you have a carrying handle. So if you have your shower toga your shower to go, some water here, and your clothing, you're at least able to get your body clean, um, be in more hygienic situation, let your clothes dry out, um, and then I will now show you how to get redressed. So for drying off, the shower toga wicks away water very quickly, so you can air dry your body, and the shower toga doesn't stay wet, it wicks away water. If there is something like some small microfiber towels or something in an emergency kit that's given out, um, they, you know, people can use that as well. Um, this is just as an example. You can just take a towel, put it up underneath, run your hand through here, dry off your body. It's very, very easy. And again, it just wicks water away. Um, so a couple of options there. For redressing, you're simply going to take the toggle for women, bring it back in front of you, 
put on your top item of clothing right on top of your shower toga. Your next item of clothing, if you have that, right on top. Pull down your shower toga, and now you have it around your waist, as you can see. And now you will put on undergarments. Reach through your side openings. That allows you to pull up undergarments while staying modest. Put pants, skirt, whatever your bottom item is, shorts, lift it up. And now, hopefully, you are fresh, you are clean, you have taken care of dressing any wounds. Um, your clothes have had a chance to dry out, or if you're lucky enough to get fresh clothes um, from a volunteer source, you're able to get in and out of those in any setting without having to look for privacy, look for a shower, um, and look for, you know, a way to, 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 to feel better and to, you know, get clean in a really rough situation. Now, shower toga also acts as a bag. So if you tighten up this end right here, you can put items inside your shower toga for transport. When you're done filling up your shower toga, if you have things you need to transport, you simply tighten up the other end. And now you do have a bag. And you can use your shower toga over and over and over. It, it technically will give you hundreds and hundreds of uses. Another use for shower toga in emergency settings would be as a hands-free blanket. So shower toga has a metallic silver coating on it, similar to a Mylar uh, emergency space blanket. And if you're in a setting where people are cold or hypothermic, <clears throat> you can take your shower toga if their clothes are not wet, they can take their shower toga, male or female, and simply put their shower toga around their core. From here to here, you will be warm in the same way you would be with an emergency space blanket. You can take your hands, put them inside, and you will your body heat will really, really warm this up and it helps a lot with people in those settings. If your clothes are wet, you would want to get out of that clothing and then put your shower toga on, um, on, on top of you. But it is a way to get out of wet clothing so that you don't go into, um, or your chances are not uh, as high of going into a hypothermic situation. Um, there are people, I've done it before, where you will literally put your shower toga above your neck and keep your entire hands inside the shower toga. Um, and it does really, really help with warmth, again, as long as your body is dry. So, I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, reach out to me. And uh, look forward to getting shower togas into the hands of the people that need it most. Thank you for watching.